I guess it's time to evacuate. What am I talking about? Well, stick with me and I'll show you in the video. Let's go. Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I want to share this new design I came up with for a laser exhaust manifold for my eBay K40 laser. So I've done a couple of these in the past, and I'm reworking everything here in a new shop. So I decided to come up with a new design. And I needed a little bit different profile, so I came up with this guy. I modeled this guy up in Fusion 360. And as you can see, this, this piece slides into the laser. This attaches to a four inch dryer vent, which goes into my uh, fume extraction system. And then basically this opening in the bottom here is where everything gets vented and sucked in. Now, one of the things I added in some foam and I'm going to probably do up a different one of these in the future. And once I get the laser cutting cutter working, I'm going to probably laser cut a new version of this. I basically took craft foam, laid it down here. I had to use two sheets because of the size of this. I think I'm going to rework this once I get things going and, and, and mess around with this a little bit more. Um, I did print this out with a 0.8 nozzle. It is a big structure. Uh, let me clue you. Um, and I have tapered it to pull the air in this way and then obviously out this uh, opening. I did print this with a 0.8 nozzle. Now one of the mistakes I did make, actually I made two mistakes with this. I, I used two shells because two shells at 0.8 is 1.6 millimeters. Uh, was not really thick enough so I got a little bit of sagging right here and the other piece is I turned down infill to about 10 percent. So the infill didn't work out the greatest for this, but uh, it did work out good enough for, you know, a first run. Uh, so what I would highly suggest is use at least, whoops, use at least three shells um, with this and use 15 to 20 percent infill to support this. Now that's really going to kick up your printing time. With the 0.8 nozzle and two shells, I was able to print this. Um, I think in about four or five hours at about 60 millimeters a second. Uh, you know, and again, because of this large vertical structure, all this was filled with um, support material as was with this. This actually, this piece actually turned out pretty good. Now, the other piece that I did do is uh, took some epoxy, mixed it up as I typically do in these cases, and ran it in these corners to give it a little bit extra support. They are filleted, but again, even if you go with three, I would still suggest it because when the hose is on here, there is some torque against this, and I, and I think especially with PLA over time, you might run into some problem. Now, I think PET-G would, would work out better, but I didn't have um, a 0.8 nozzle on one of my PET-G printers, so I did this in PLA. And again, I think PLA will do just fine. Now, I did the this to create a gasket uh, for this unit because it's a tight fit onto the K40. It works out actually very nice. So everything fits up pretty good with this and it's a lower profile design rather than having a big hood or just straight out the back because I need the um, uh, opening to be pushed out to the side uh, where it, the way everything's set up. So I'll have this file out on Thingiverse as well as the Fusion 360 files. So if you're interested, you have a K40 laser, go out and grab it. Works great. Um, I'll also be doing some more stuff in the future, kind of showing you a number of the upgrades I'm doing to the K40. So anyways, just wanted to get this out here, show you guys this prototype that I made. I'm actually going to put this in use and experiment with... Um, uh, you know improving the print. I think the design is fine. Everything hooks up with it It's just I needed to go with three and change the infill. I have a second K40 I've got to print one for so I'm gonna give give those modifications a shot And I'll let you guys know either on Instagram and the blog post or something like that So don't forget swag shops up there subscribe over there And this will be out on Thingiverse and I'm gonna put it out on my mini factory, too. So Hopefully you guys find it interesting. If you do, give it a big thumbs up and we'll catch you in the next video. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.